day 133 in game, Carl is on level 10 and on a quest to increase his character renown to 200 so he can start a rebellion against the Polish Commonwealth uh, with Janusz Ratzivil. So uh, that's what we'll do. I've been fighting the Polish Commonwealth, uh, they are quite uh, suspicious of me already. Uh, just to have uh, these uh, larger armies to fight against, and I was chasing this caravan at the end of the previous video, so uh, let's do just that and make sure I have uh, everyone standing. Yes, I do. I'm uh, on purpose letting, uh, letting my uh, army to go. Uh, Oh hell. Oh hell. Oh, right. I, uh, <laughs> well, I actually don't want this fellow to uh, join me. That was unfortunate. Uh, I pretty much get no renown for the fight if, uh, if an army like that joins. I, for a moment, I thought that. Uh, it was a Polish colonel that joined. Ah, why do you come and steal my uh, steal my caravan fight? You bastard! Can't even can't even catch the catch the one. That would have been a nice fight. Let's go see if there's ransom broker here so I can drop these uh, drop these prisoners. I might go after those bandits then. Nope, no such luck this time. Where did I get a horse like that? Did I get it as loot? I totally don't remember. Well, anyway, let's uh, sell those racks. Oh, one one thing I uh, I realized afterwards: the the grenades they are not not like normal uh, ammunition that respawns. These are uh, one-shot grenades, so uh, those testing grenades I threw, uh, they are now gone. And I probably won't be buying grenades until I have a shitload of money. It's uh, it's quite... Well, I kind of understand why they did that. They are very powerful, probably especially in the sieges. But uh, they could have at least told me in the, in the tooltip that these are... <laughs> These are one shot because each and every ammunition in Mountain Blade works works the same way. They always respawn, and then there's these grenades that suddenly don't, and I just wasted three thousand dollars on them, especially throwing them on the field just to test them. Well, anyway, it's gone now. Yeah, that was uh, that was something I something I noticed there uh, in between the videos. All right. Let's see if I can find some bandits or scouts or whatnot to fight. Because I need to go to the Polish lands. Carefully picking up speed. There's a patrol. Okay, I still had money for the wages. Good. Okay, now 
this could be interesting. Or not. The armies armies going back and forth. The Cossacks are sieging Lublin. Four winged hussars. They didn't have any interesting prisoners, so I just skipped that one. Won't give me any renown. Those scouts I think are too fast for me. Well, actually, I could have caught them. so uh, fast and so early that it's hard for me to catch them. Come on, horses! Fire at will, gather on charge, companions charge! And they have horses. They have. What am, what am I talking about? I meant to say that they have, they have guns! Oh. <laughs> yes, they do have horses, but I, I kinda already said that. I was aiming at me. Way to go, Carlson. No, it was uh, just a camera man. Okay. One renown. Great. Well, I guess I can take those prisoners. And yet one more horse. want to uh, disband disband any of my units but I'm uh, it would actually be pretty good if I if I ran into a slightly larger enemy uh, nothing like this though I still escape barely Those scouts nearly got me, and the Lord would have joined the fight. Yeah, I wouldn't mind finding a Polish army of 50 or so, so I could, could go and have a... Oh, they made, made their way to a camp. Okay. In this case, then... Marksman there, the cavalry there, the companions there, and let's let's shoot them. Set up and go uh, go behind the hill. Sure, if it's, if it's very smart for them to uh, <laughs> smart of them to uh, 
be in a place like that, but... Kind of a ex execution more than a fight, but... Uh, sure. I take it, I take three now. I do need to remember... Oh, that's a, that's a decent armor. It might, uh, might go for a... Yelisei? Yeah. That's uh, that's good. Yeah, but um, I need to remember to use that. Use that uh, making that camp if I if I get uh, get caught off guard by a larger pack of pack of the enemy army. Okay, so that's a whole lot of poles. The Cossacks... No, he, <laughs> that guy didn't join the fight, what the heck? Go help him! Yeah, looks like none of those, none of those armies will be that small. I could fight them. Okay, what do we have here? Scouts versus scouts. Oh well, you joined that fight. Of course you do. Mm. Twenty rebels, sure. Oh, too many, too many Cossack lords around. Uh, Getting um, getting my ripples and all uh, killed. I kind of hope uh, I'd find some lone lone Polish armies. They are running, riding in these big bags, and uh, I can't even find uh, like one-on-one -on -one fights between the Poles and the Cossacks. They're always these uh, big. Uh, Bigger armies. Now seventy three dragoons. There are no winged hussars on this guy. Dragoons, armored Cossack. Kind of tempted to give it give it a shot against an army of seventy. How would I do? On the other hand, I I did get my ass whooped by a by a similarly sized army that I already had. Got attempted to try it anyway, just just for the challenge. I did mess up the previous fight quite badly. They don't have too many, too many elite units. They do have those dragoons, but uh, armored Cossack. Yeah, those are uh, good infantry units. I don't know. <laughs> for some reason, I really want to, really want to have a challenging fight. Uh, so I guess, I uh, guess I'll try this. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I paused the game, looked that up. The armored Cossack <laughs> is actually a Polish horse archer, so that's pretty much a whole, <laughs> whole cavalry army. So uh, yeah, no thanks, no thanks, man. Uh, <laughs> I. Uh, Started thinking that uh, 
because it says Kazakhs, it must be horses. So yeah, that wasn't a good idea. If, the, if, the, if that was all infantry, uh, I might have given given it the shots because all my all or most most of my troops have uh, have firearms. Uh, but now with this fellow in, yeah, I think now this this fight just became a whole whole lot more interesting. Now I can actually actually go and uh, look at it. my troops here. Where where is the other guy? What happened? Okay. Uh, time to put these into use somehow. Where is the... The other guy's... Oh, man! What the heck? The other guy's here. Ah, yeah, the horse archers. Yeah, the other guy's smart. He's using a... He's using a line... Oh, fuck. Way to go, Carl. Way to go. You could actually look where your ally sees, you moron. Yeah, we, <laughs> we would have been in trouble without uh, without allies because this is a quite quite a tough fight, even as it is. Wow, they have a they have a high armor. Did I just do 34 damage on that? Jesus freaking Christ. Yeah, we are losing this fight even Oh are you kidding me. 16 damage! I shot the guy straight in the chest. Man! Oh wow. Wow wow wow. Are you freaking kidding me? How can how can they be so tough? Well I guess they are armored Kazakhs for real. As a horse archer unit, that's it that is uh that is insanely tough. Oh, that's my... that's their guy. 31 damage shot in the back. Man. Okay, I, I know to... I know to watch out for these guys when now. Yeah, <laughs> they shot a friendly troop. 47 damage. I know how to... I know to watch out for the poles uh, when I uh when 
I fight them, these uh, armored Cossacks, and uh, let alone. And they they didn't even have winged hussars in this uh, this army. Unbelievable, just unbelievable. Don't miss Carl. Well, this was the this was my opportunity to thin my troops a bit so I can go uh, fight the scouts with a smaller army, I guess. Yeah, Sarabung was uh, was downed. Well, nine killed, not too bad. But uh, so uh, 24 of us, 35 of the allies, so 59, and 71 of them. Okay, it just looked bad. That's actually not. It's actually an excellent result. 59 versus 71. But taking that that we definitely had the numbers, that's uh that's not so uh, not so good. We have uh, some wrapping up to do here. Rescued prisoners. Do I want any of those? Yeah, armored Cossacks. Badass, badass enemies. I, uh, I'll think twice before I engage them. I didn't lose too many troops uh, in total. Spearman, why are you on a horse? Strength, unfortunately. Rusty Crowbill. Bent bullets, bent arrows. The other, other fellow with his uh, with his bigger army. Probably took most of the most of the loot. I'm uh, taking taking these units so I can uh, check what they can do. Uh, it's a pretty pretty good. Uh, Good-looking units. What about you, Spearman? Bull arms. It's kind of strange that you are on a horse. Firearms. Right, so kind of like a French, French troops. Yeah, 
Yeah, this fellow is definitely an elite unit. Elite rival man. Yeah, I might I might let let some of these troops go. Not sure about sure about all of them, this guy. Mm. Guess I'll uh, give them a give them a go. Give them a go in the next fight. Yelly say the engineer. So it'll be intelligence and for now points the weapon master and um, I guess I could give you a power strike. You do have a you do have a firearm, but you've been mostly using one-handed weapons anyway. Okay, let's go sell the prisoners. And now with 42 troops, couple of which I can easily let go. Ransom broker is gone. And my grenades are gone. One shot grenades. Maybe we'll buy them for seeds, but even then, uh, I don't know. But the ball is really seating this place. Or was it that one guy? Need to get rid of these uh, prisoners. Let there be a ransom broker, please, 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 please. No. Hmm. Okay, let's go to the Swedish, Swedish Lutsk. Oh, that could have been so wrong if I pronounced it a bit differently. Unfortunate that uh, Ramon the slave trader is bugged here. Yeah. He pays the same price as the ransom brokers, even that he uh, he, he says he pays pays more. Oh, that's a interesting looking fight. Let me uh, go see if there's a ransom man. Hello. But I'll get a. Uh, Decent money, yeah, 67 for the armored Cossacks. Good units. Tepes. So there's a caravan and patrol and 87 uh, Polish troops. It's one armored Cossack, one winged Hussar, mostly German infantry. Bike men. Oh, I'm I'm tempted again. 87 is quite a lot, and I lost lost quite many troops. But this army doesn't have that many. Many uh, caravan units in it. I don't know. Maybe I'll give it a shot. Maybe I won't. 